Hey everybody, my name is Juwan, and welcome to my channel, Faith Food and Living, where we learn how to study the Bible together. In this video, I am going to be going over the theological method, and then going over five main theological disciplines. In some upcoming videos, I'm going to be going over these disciplines in a little bit more detail. But before we get into the video, do me a favor by subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. You can also follow this channel on Instagram at Faithfully Living. Okay, let's get started. So what is the theological method? The theological method is a way to study the Bible that is determined how one approaches the interpretation of the Bible and how one arrives at a certain doctoral belief about that interpretation. This is going to help us focus on biblical doctrines that reveal to us things about God. But before we get started, let me define some terms that I'll be using throughout this video. So our first term is going to be theology. Theology is the study of God. Our next term is going to be theological. And theological means related to are involved with theology. Our third term is method. So method means an approach on how to study. And then our last term is going to be doctrine, which is a group of teachings about a certain subject. So the five interrelated theological disciplines are exegesis, biblical theology, historical theology, systematic theology, and practical theology. So next, I'm going to define what each of these terms are. All right, so the first theological discipline is going to be exegesis. Exegesis is interpreting a text by analyzing what the author intended to communicate. So this is drawing the meaning out of the text. Our next term is going to be biblical theology. Biblical theology looks at the whole Bible, the Old and the New Testament, looking at how it progresses, points, and reveals the redemptive plan of Christ and salvation. The next term is going to be his historical theology. So historical theology reviews and evaluates how theologians have understood the Bible and theology. So it looks at, looks at how people in time past have understood Christian doctrine. Our next theological discipline is going to be systematic theology. So in systematic theology, you're discerning how a particular passage correlates theologically to the Bible. So systematic theology is divided into about 10 categories. Some of the categories are the doctrine of God, doctrine of the Bible, the doctrine of salvation. So in systematic theology, it can help you interpret a particular passage in the Bible. And if your theology, your doctrine, your beliefs are not correct, it can um, cause you to misinterpret a passage. And then our last theological discipline is practical theology. So in practical theology, once you understand what the passage means, you can apply the passage to yourself, to the church, and then the world. So you're looking at how to apply it to your life. Because you remember that we just don't want to read, we just don't want to study, and we just don't want to understand the Bible. The important thing is to apply it to our life. Because the whole purpose of a life is to glorify God and to make Him known. So to sum up the theological method, it is how one approaches exegesis and theology. So I know some of these terms are new to you. I'm still learning them myself. I hope these will be helpful as you continue your study of God's Word. All of this is going to help you better understand the Bible, better understand God's nature, and how He wants us to live out our lives for Him. So thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for some more videos, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.